welcome to my channel. Today is another very exciting day as I'm going to be unboxing the new Samira roller skates from Impala Skates. I'm very excited about this. I have had these sitting in my house for a while <laughs> and I've just been waiting for the right time to film an unboxing so I haven't even tried them on yet. I'm so excited. The Samira Skate is a new addition to the Impala Skate collection and I decided to go for the colour Dusty Blue. They also have a pink colour of these as well. Now something that's really exciting about these skates is that they are suede. So they have introduced these as the new suede skates and they honestly look beautiful. I am so excited to have a look at them, try them on and give them a try. Let's unbox them. I'm so excited. <laughs> When I saw the blue version of this skate on their website, straight away, I knew I needed them in my life. <laughs> oh, got a little manual. Very nice. And then, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Are you ready for this? Look how beautiful. Oh. Honestly, I, I know I said this about nearly all of my skates, but these are really stunning. Really stunning. Look at that. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. All right, I'm going to put the box down here. I'll get to that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Look at that. So, as you can see, Beautiful colour, dusty blue. I am so glad that I chose this colour, it's stunning. Oh, I love that as well. Look, it's got a little Impala sign there. And look, look at the marble wheels. They are beautiful. So beautiful. So, another really exciting thing about this new Impala skates is the toe strap. The toe strap on Impala skates are usually the bolted on toe stops, which you cannot adjust, which can be a bit frustrating. If you're learning a certain move or if you are practicing a certain move where you want to make them, you know, smaller, further out, you can't do it. Whereas now these have adjustable toe stops. So you can adjust them to make them really, really small, or you can make them really, really close to the ground. Whatever it is that you want when you're skating. So that is a really, really, really good change that Impala have made. My first ever pair of skates was the, the white Impala skates that I absolutely loved and I wore for months and they did me so well. But one thing I did used to find with the toe stops is eventually they would kind of nibble away where you scrape them against the ground. And so slowly you would just have less toe stop and you'd have to turn them around or you'd have to swap them. So yeah, an adjustable toe stop is a really good add-on to Impala skates. With the wheels, they are, as you can see, absolutely stunning and marble. They are 62 millimeter wheels. So I like a 62 millimeter wheel for all sorts of skating, so that's good. And they are an 85A. They have these little pull-up hoops on the back to make it easier to pull them on, or imagine you could just hang them on your key ring. <laughs> I would not advise that, but you know, technically you could wear them as a necklace. <laughs> but yeah, just nice little loop on the back, which is a, a nice little add-on. Don't usually see that on Impala skates, so that's cool. And then we have the spongy area here that will sit around your ankle. It is very spongy and soft and it's got a little bit of stretch in there as well. I like that, that feels nice, it feels like cushioned. Some skates I have took a while to wear in and to get comfortable because they were quite hard around the, around the opening, but the, yeah, this feels really nice. This feels really good. And then the tongue, the tongue has a lot of padding in there as well. Really nice. So far, I am very impressed. I'm impressed with the way they look. The wheels feel really nice and are really pretty and nice. The spongy area up here is lovely and spongy. The tongue feels 
that feels like there's a lot of support in these but they still feel comfortable because sometimes with some skates they have a lot of support but they are not the most comfortable due to that support whereas these feel spongy and nice but sturdy at the same time which is obviously very good toe stop an amazing amazing change to have an adjustable toe stop as i just think they're better adjustable toe stops so yeah that's a really good change as well as you can see the laces are just kind of like a plain kind of what like a creamy color so looks really cute i really really love this entire design with these samira skates they are more expensive than the normal original impala roller skates but i just think that is because they have made quite a few changes you know the different toe stop they've made it more structural up here it's got all this sponginess the tongue is really spongy i love my original impala roller skates they are what i learned in i spent months wearing them but i would say that these look like they're going to fit really really well Whereas the original roller skates from Impala, I would say are more just kind of beginner skates and skates that are perfect for if you're just like wanting to buy a pair of skates, want to learn how to roller skate, want to be able to just throw them around sort of thing. And obviously they are a really, really good cheaper alternative to some of the more expensive ones out there. So now I'm really happy Impala has that kind of range where if you want to just get your like beginner skates, you want to get a pair of skates, you don't want to spend loads of money, but you want a good quality pair of skates, then you can get the original Impala roller skates. And then if you want to spend a bit more money and have, you know, a bit more quality, then these are the perfect option for you. And they are obviously going to be better for more sort of intermediate and advanced skaters. So now I'm going to try these on and see how they feel. And I'm going to skate around a little bit and just see if they are as comfortable as they look and feel. <laughs> okay, so first of all, I need to lace them up the rest of the way. And on here, they actually have a little like loop for your laces to go through just to stop obviously the tongue from moving around and everything. So I think I'm gonna actually use that and put the laces through that loop. Beautiful. See, you can lace them through the little loop and then it will keep the tongue part in place. So I'm gonna finish off lacing these up and then try them on. They're all laced up now, looking absolutely beautiful. And I just wanted to mention now before I try them on, that if you are interested in any Impala skates, I have a discount code. <laughs> so with the code Lucy and Skates, you can get 15% off the entire Impala website. So any skates, any accessories, anything on the Impala website, apart from sour items. Okay, so now I'm gonna try them on, see how they feel. Oh no, I've done it again, I always do this. I put skates on and they've still got the tissue bit in the toe. <laughs> I honestly, I never learn. I do this every time I put skates on and then it ends up getting really stuck in there. Okay, there's one. That means there's gonna be some in here, isn't there? Okay, right, let's try that again then. One in here. Oh my goodness, these feel so nice. Look at that, they look beautiful. First impression on how they feel, they definitely feel more snug than the original Impala skates. So with the original Impala skates, I have gone for the exact same size in these as my original. I'd say that these feel a lot more snug, which I personally really like. But if you don't like that, you might want to size up. So in the original Impala skates, I often put them on and I almost feel like there's sometimes a bit, a bit of space around here, around the sides of your foot. Whereas in these, there is no space. These are touching my foot the whole way around, which I really like. <laughs> I love that feeling because I just feel secure. But yeah, um, I did already know that they are a bit more snug. So I made the decision to go for my normal size, knowing that I like the feeling of snug. I like the feeling of snug in all my shoes, even my trainers. This is like a funny joke within my like family. I used to be a size seven when I was young and then I forced myself to become a size six by wearing size six shoes, which is obviously not good and obviously something really weird, but I did. And now I literally am a size six and my feet are completely fine. So 
I don't know what happened there. I think I was just wearing shoes that were too big for too long because I was never a size seven. But yeah, so with these, obviously I like the feeling of snug, clearly, because I'm strange, but you might want to size up. They should have a size guide, on, size guide on the website. So have a look at that and yeah, see, see what you think would be best for you. This part of the back, very comfortable. Um, I'm impressed, I'm impressed so far. I'm gonna put them both on, get them laced up and then skate around and see how they feel skating. So I have another comparison to the original skates. One of the changes is that the laces are a lot shorter on the original Impala skates. The laces, a lot you see a lot of people wrap them around the back and everything because they're quite long. Whereas, as you can see with these, they are actually quite short. So when you do them all the way up to the top, it, you know, it doesn't really do a bow. But one thing I do think is, you don't really always need the top hook, so I'll do it to the second hook, and then you can have a nice little bow. As I used to wear my old Impala skates in random ways, I used to wear them sometimes done up to like halfway up, and then wrap around the back, and double bowed, and, but yeah, no, that's fine, so yeah, so to the, to the hook below basically is, is where the laces go to, that's fine, so I'm gonna lace up these ones as well, perfect. So there they are, so, so that's how they look. Stand up in them, see how they feel. Very nice. You might see as well that I've got on my beautiful little socks that have got skates on them. Look how cute. These socks are from Hexy Socks, which I also have a little cheeky code for, so I will just link all of the links and codes in the description. You may be wondering, why have you got this big unit that is empty randomly sitting in your lounge? You'll have to subscribe to my channel if you want to find out, <laughs> as I'm going to be doing another video where I do my entire skate collection, and I'm going to be sorting out my new skating area, which is obviously going to include this big, nine cube storage unit that I built myself. I'm very proud. Built it all by myself. So yeah, stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and then you'll be able to see my whole entire skate collection come to life. But anyway, for now, <laughs> let's see how these ones are. So, first impression. Very comfy. I like these a lot, you know. Look how cute they are. Loving the toe strap. Loving this new toe strap, honestly. So I really do prefer this to the original, like, Impala toe strap, which was a uh, bold thumb. Yeah. Now, the strut challenge. How do they feel to strut in them? Right, let's see. Okay, so one thing I noticed is the toe stop, I will have to adjust because it's a bit too far down for me. But that's something that's really good about the adjustable thing with toe stops that are adjustable. It doesn't matter, but I can feel as I am moving back, they are hitting the floor, as you can see. So that's one thing. Very good to have adjustable toe stops. Very happy about that. But overall, <laughs> I like them a lot. I'm really happy with them. And personally, yeah, I personally really like these skates a lot. I think they are worth paying more because they do feel really good quality. They're really comfy, really well supported. I'm happy with them personally. So as I mentioned, if you are looking to get any Impala skates, then you can use my code and get 15% off. It's Lucy Ann Skates. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you are going to get some of these or if you already have some, what your thoughts are of them. Like this video if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and you want to see my full collection. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.